Hello everybody, in this video today we're going to wander around the AJ and Smart office and ask everybody what their favorite app is at this moment. Now, this video is going to get a little silly, it's going to get a little crazy because it's extremely hot in Berlin right now and we're all just sweaty messes. Alright, let's go! There's not a lot of people here right now, so we're gonna have to hunt a little bit for people to be in this video. We are wondering what your favorite app is right now, Amr. Right now it's Bear, so this is the app, and it's basically a notes app. And what's surprising is that this app came out a couple years ago, and you'd think that a notes app would not survive and be a good business, but these, uh, these guys actually nailed it because for one, they knew who they were tar targeting, and they were targeting uh, people who love uh, good design apps. And this is a greatly designed app. It's gorgeous, it has a ton of themes, and its, advantage, its main advantage over the Apple Notes app is that it has tags, and they say you're either a tags person or a folders person, and I'm definitely a tags person, which means I can tag a note as, with multiple tags, for example, design and UX, and sometimes I wanna look at the design stuff, uh, that is not UX, and sometimes I want to look at the UX stuff, for example. And it also works uh, as a markdown editor, which if you know what markdown is, um, it's great for, uh, for writing text that is portable everywhere. And they have great apps across iPhone, iPad, Mac, and even the Apple Watch. Um, have you ever tried Notion? I have, it's overkill. This is way, way simpler. Uh, Notion is very powerful if you need that, um, but I haven't found a use case for it. Like, I'd love to use it, actually. I'm just like very interested in it, mm -hmm. but I haven't found a use case for it in my life. Okay, so it's too complex for some people. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you need to be a certain <laughs> level of smart. Just kidding. Uh, to use that, which this I am not. This is very cool, though. Thank you so much, Amr, and for giving us such a detailed overview of the app. You're welcome, anytime. All right, now we're gonna go to the other side of the office because it's actually really fun just to run in between. Have I said that before? I think so. Okay, great. Come on over here. Oh, you know who's not in their office right now? John. That means we can catch him. <laughs> Hello, John. How was your coffee? It was good, it was an iced. Latte. How sweaty are you right now? I'm completely soaked from head to toe. <laughs> also, a question that I'd love you to answer yeah. is what is your favorite app right now? Okay. Can I choose a product that is not on an iPhone? Yes. Okay. Um, my favorite app right now is it's actually Databox. Databox is my favorite product at the moment. And why? It's because it's a really customizable dashboard system for basically having a quick overview of everything that's happening in your company numbers wise. And we've tried like 5,000 of these types of products and none of them are as extendable and as usable as Databox. So we really tried, we've been trying to find a good one for like six months and Databox works really well um, and is super, super customizable. So how I use it is I have like um, the kind of company dashboard and I can see all the numbers, I can see trends, I can see when there's going to be issues. So for me, I think that's my favorite product right now. Great. This was an excellent answer. It's We've heard better, Gmail. but it's good. Yeah. <laughs> it's Gmail. Gmail. But can yeah. I give a second one? Yes, of course. Uh, my second one is a really old product called Text Expander. Ah. It's really cool. It's just basically a uh, Mac app where you store all different types of um, templates that you're going to use pretty often in emails or in conversations with people and then you create shortcuts to present like so that those just kind of appear in whatever app you're using so for example i have a template that's called um, semicolon meet and when i type semicolon on meet it writes an entire it, it pastes an entire email from me um, to the person i'm talking to including all the links and everything that i need so it's super great i love text expander it's great Good for people who are on the run always on the run but it doesn't work on uh, mobile it's only on on Mac what okay thanks John and Figma bye and Figma <laughs> all right Jonas I'm wondering what your favorite app is right now 
my favorite app. Um, actually, it's a small app, but it's a good app, and it's called Endel. I, I had this in an Instagram story very recently. It plays brain sounds. Now, actually, um, on the website it says personalized sounds to help you focus, relax, and sleep. And it's just an algorithm that creates these personalized sounds. You can also see it on the web. On, on the web. <laughs> on, on mobile. Can we hear it? Um, yeah, let me just disconnect my headphones. Yeah. Okay, and you can like switch between relaxation um, on the go and it's all like depending on your like, location and how the weather for example is so if it's foggy it plays more like cozy music which is interesting. I actually think this is an extremely cool app Jonas. Thank you for sharing it with us. Anytime. All right. What'd you ask me? What's your favorite app, Brittany? I'm so glad you asked, Callum, uh, so spontaneously. Um, I actually recently got an Apple Watch. This is my favorite thing about the Apple Watch. It's the greatest thing. I don't care what anybody says, okay? But also the second greatest thing is that it has a really great activity monitor. And so here is the app like in my actual phone, but of course it's on the watch, it's a little bit clearer. So what's really cool is I have goals every day. As you can see, I haven't fulfilled all my goals, but I have fulfilled my exercise goal. But I think probably at this point, uh, it's just saying that because I've been sweating all day. <laughs> because uh, I haven't really moved that much, to be honest. But it's cool because I have this goal of like burning 800 calories a day. I don't know why they suggested that. <laughs> or like, Brittany, this is what you need. And, um, and then it tells you to stand also every hour. They're like, stand up now. You, now it's time to stand. Um, and you can track all of your workouts and everything. So when I'm cycling to work, I can track that. And then you can compare it. Yesterday was a very good day. Look at those loops. Ooh. I filled them all up. Anyway. It's a solid loop. So that would be my favorite app right now. Uh, generally, I mean, my favorite product right now is the Apple Watch. I'm very new to it, but I'm enjoying it a lot. Anybody in here? Hey, Bruna. We're asking, we're, we're doing a little interview session here. We're wondering. <laughs> oh, hi. What do you feel like? In a reality TV. She feels like she's on reality television. Can you believe it? Callum, we're nailing it. All right. Quick question. We're wondering what your favorite app is right now. I would say Instagram, because everybody's on Instagram. I'm pretty sure somebody already said that. No? Not yet. Because stories and, okay. Oh, okay, that makes sense. <laughs> I'm pretty sure somebody else going to say Instagram, probably because of the stories. And it's crazy how the stories have so much stuff that we can, um, how can I say? Just interact to each other, like gifts, polls, questions. You can go live, you can ask people while they're live questions. Yeah, so I'm just addicted to Instagram. I'm one of those people <laughs> that kind of has to stop using it for a while. <laughs> yeah. It's a great answer. I also love Instagram. Yeah. You should follow us on Instagram. It's just a... Yeah, follow right, us. Right, follow us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Self-promotion. <laughs> All right, fabulous. <laughs> Thanks, Bruna. Thank Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was um, helpful, but more than that, I just hope that it was entertaining. Um, let us know what your favorite app is right now. We really, really want to know, so tell us in the comments. Give us a like if you liked this video. Give the video just a little like. It's so easy to do, and we love it. Um, so that would be wonderful. And subscribe if this is the first video that you're watching in our, on our channel. Um, we are releasing videos every single week, so you can definitely subscribe and stay tuned for some really nice UX design, product design, innovation videos. If you want to see more daily weird stuff like what I'm doing right now, you should definitely check out our Instagram. We have daily vlogs. We're talking about design. We're talking about design sprints. We're talking about products. It's mayhem. You should definitely follow us there. Also, just thanks and have a great day. And I hope you're in a place that's warm, but not quite as warm as it is right here. You guys can't be in this video right now, right? Not this second. Not this second. We'll be back. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> one password. One password yeah. Just one password like changed my life. Yeah, it's very It's amazing. Very good. Yeah, yeah, it's really good.
<laughs> that siren hand. Cool. Oh Not installed, and you're That's like, true. it is installed. Fuck. Fix that, will ya? Yeah.